In this video, we will look at sapphire engagement rings or sapphire center stone rings. We will also go over the pros and cons of sapphire engagement rings. On this channel, we cover all things pertaining to marriage proposals, so subscribe if you love love. The first reason to choose a sapphire ring over let's say other gemstone types is because of the color sapphires offer. Sapphires are in a category called corundum stones. There are colorless corundums, but if it contains iron and titanium, the sapphire can range from blue, green, and yellow. Pink sapphires are due to trace amounts of chromium. For people that want color in their center stones on an engagement ring, then sapphire is likely the best alternative for more reasons I will get into in just a minute. Which leads me to price. While sapphires are not the least expensive gemstone, they are really inexpensive, especially in comparison to colored diamonds. For example, while you can pay over $100,000 for a high quality natural pink diamond over one carat, a pink sapphire over one carat can be purchased for less than $1,000. Or more commonly, yellow oval diamonds that are over a carat are around $1,700 because yellow diamonds aren't that expensive. But you'd save around $1,300 buying a yellow oval sapphire instead of a diamond. Now along those lines of price, you can also get a bigger sapphire because they are so inexpensive for a reasonable price. For example, you can get a 3.5 carat natural blue sapphire for a little over $2,000. But for a diamond over 3.5 carat for the same shape, you are looking at over $46,000. So now if you don't know how much bigger a three carat diamond is, let me put up a three carat compared to a one carat diamond from my diamond size and price comparison video. Watch that video and more videos on gemstone sizes. I'll put those in a playlist that will pop up at the end of this video. So the point is you are able to purchase bigger stones as well that look like diamonds. Now, there is a certain amount of lavishness and value that comes when you buy a natural or earth-made stone over a man-made or lab-made stone. Lab-made stones, to some people, don't have that emotional appeal behind them. So that's where sapphires come into play. They are a natural earth-made stone. So a partner that finds sentimental value in a natural stone will like that a sapphire gemstone is an earth-made stone, not a lab or a man-made stone and yet still fairly inexpensive. Because sapphires come in so many different colors, you can also have a ring with more variation in color if you use sapphire. For example, you can mix and match between colored sapphires and colorless diamonds, which make some beautiful arrangements that call a lot of attention to the ring and the diamonds themselves. My next point is that rings and sapphires need to look more unique as well. For example, a lot of ring styles with diamonds that are colorless look like they are factory produced and they likely are factory produced. But when you add stones with color, they look more handcrafted. And once again, that may up their emotional appeal as well. My video on engagement ring styles will go more over how to choose styles that don't look so run of the mill. But a nice little trick is to add some color diamonds and then they don't look so factory made. Now, while diamonds might be more traditional overall in society, sapphires are more traditional among royal families, and thus they can have more vintage and royal appeal. Perhaps that is also why they look less run of the mill as I just explained. Diamond rings that are more uniformly colorless just don't have that royal traditional feel. Now, we've done a lot of comparing to diamonds because diamonds are the typical engagement ring center stone. Diamonds are harder than sapphires. Diamonds are a 10 on the moss scale, but sapphires are really hard and pretty much harder than every other stone besides diamonds. They are a nine on the moss scale. And so if you're looking for a hard stone that is not a diamond, then a sapphire might be a good pick for you. The last thing to note is that while they are less expensive than diamonds, they are actually more rare than diamonds. If it wasn't for the extrinsic value of diamonds, then diamonds would likely be much less expensive. And that extrinsic value comes from the romance behind them. Now let's get into some of the downsides of sapphires. First, sapphires don't have the same light refraction through them like a diamond does, so they don't sparkle as much as a diamond. That is big for a lot of people. That sparkle of diamonds brings them to life and gives them a 
lot bigger value. Another downside is rings with colored gemstones can be perceived as being cheaper or less expensive. Likely this is because people think of colorless gems like a diamond as being more expensive. The last big downside to sapphires is that they need to be polished more often because they do scratch ever so slightly over time. So you may want to take them in for polishing from time to time. And if the ring wearer is a very active person or does a lot of manual labor, then sapphire will tend to scratch a little more often. And so you might want to go with a diamond. Make sure you watch all my proposal tips and idea videos now if you want to plan the perfect proposal. Also watch one of my many how to shop for engagement rings and diamond videos. Or mark my words, you will get ripped off. They know this is a one-time purchase you're going to make and you likely know nothing about it. So like, subscribe, and watch another one of those videos now.